In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NBA games happening on October 27, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Dallas Mavericks vs. Brooklyn Nets On Thursday evening, the Dallas Mavericks traveled to the Barclays Center for a road showdown with the Brooklyn Nets. The Mavericks suffered a heartbreaking 113-111 loss to the Pelicans on the road in their last game as five-and-a-half-point favorites. The Nets are in action Wednesday night and will be on the second of a back-to-back. The Dallas Mavericks have had a mixed start to the season as they've lost two of their first three games, and they will be hoping to bounce back after falling just short to the Pelicans in a 113-111 loss on Tuesday. Luka Doncic led the team with 37 points, 11 rebounds, and 7 assists. Spencer Dinwiddie added 24 points with 5 assists, while Christian Wood chipped in with 23 points on 8 of 10 shooting off the bench. As a team, the Mavericks shot 50% from the field and 12 of 39 from the three-point line as they got off to a sloppy start and had to claw back from an early 16-point deficit after leaking 40 points in the first quarter. However, it still wasn't enough to get the job done, as Doncic missed the game-winning shot with the clock expiring. Meanwhile, the Brooklyn Nets have really struggled so far as they've lost three of their first four games, and they will be hoping to snap a two-game skit after last night's 110-99 road win at Milwaukee. Kevin Durant led the team with 33 points, Kyrie Irving added 27 points with nine rebounds, while Royce O'Neal chipped in with 13 points on 4 of 13 shooting. As a team, the Nets shot just 39% from the field and 7 of 27 from the three-point line as they looked to be in control after exploding for 35 points in the second quarter to build a 12-point lead, but their defense let themselves down in the second half where they allowed 67 points. Ben Simmons had another quiet game of just 4 points on 2 of 7 shooting, while Joe Harris scored just 3 points on 1 of 5 shooting off the bench. Looking at the betting trends, the Mavericks are 1 to 4 against the spread in their last five road games and 5-2 to two against the spread in their last seven games against a team with a losing record. The Nets are 1-4 to four against the spread in their last five games against a team with a losing record, 3-7-1 to seven to one against the spread in their last 11 games playing on zero days rest and 1-5 to five against the spread in their last six games overall. Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving each scored 37 points for the Nets Monday night, but they still lost by 10 points to the Grizzlies. They let Desmond Bain and Yacht Morant go wild, and Ben Simmons has yet to find his groove as a member of the Nets. They are not an efficient defensive club at this point in the young season, and they will be on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. We have yet to receive word on whether Durant or Irving sit in this one, but knowing how the NBA operates their superstars on back-to-backs, expect one of them to be limited here. Dallas suffered a tough loss to the Pelicans, and this is a good bounce-back spot for them. Expect Tim Hardaway Jr. to be a game-time decision for this road game, but Luka has been on a tier to open the year, and he looks primed for an MVP caliber season season again. The Mavericks have already faced some highs and lows in this season, and they've only played three games, while the Nets have looked like a mess at times, particularly on the defensive end due to their lack of size in the paint. The Nets opened as favorites, but all the traffic has been headed toward the Mavericks and with good reason, as Doncic is already in mid-season form. The Mavericks have the advantage of an extra day's rest, and they should be good enough to escape with the win while the Nets are clearly still working things out. Plus, the Nets have lost six of their last seven games dating back to last year, so the Dallas Mavericks to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Mavericks are averaging 118 points per game and 108 points per game on the road. They averaged 108 points per game in their last three games against the Nets. They play at one of the slowest paces in the league, averaging 99.3 possessions per game. With the Nets giving up 117.5 points per game at home, the Mavericks will hit their average in this game. The Nets are averaging 114 points per game and 108.5 points per game at home. They averaged 107 points per game in their last three games against the Mavericks. They also play at a very slow pace, averaging 102.3 possessions per game.
Green. Brooklyn is once again struggling to stop anyone this year, which was a huge problem for them last season and one of the primary reasons why they were swept by the Boston Celtics in the playoffs. Ben Simmons was supposed to help them in that department, but he has been a shell of his former self. Opposing clubs are averaging over 123 points per game to open the year, and the Mavericks are coming off a tough loss against the Pelicans. You can bet they will open this game with a far better shooting performance. Luka dropped 37 in that one and got whatever he wanted, except for the final shot of course. He over has hit in 4 of the Mavericks' last 5 games and 11 of their last 16 games. The Brooklyn Nets have had issues defensively through their first 4 games and that's likely going to continue here with them on the end of a back-to-back possible tired legs here. With the Mavericks giving up 110 points per game on the road, the Nets will score enough points to push the score past the total. Look for this game to be a back and forth affair with the total going way past the projected number. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Clippers vs. Oklahoma City Thunder The Los Angeles Clippers and Oklahoma City Thunder meet Thursday in NBA action at the Paycom Center. The Los Angeles Clippers look to get a game above a .500 record. The Oklahoma City Thunder look to rebound from a 1-3 start. The Los Angeles Clippers have been in a rut as they're now hoping to avoid a third straight defeat after getting stunned by the Thunder in a 108-94 road loss on Tuesday. Luke Kennard led the team in scoring with 15 points off the bench. John Wall added just 12 12 points while Ibaka Zubak and Robert Covington each scored 10 points. As a team, the Clippers shot just 42% from the field and 10 of 31 from the three-point line as they struggled without their star players and quickly fell behind after scoring just 18 points in the first quarter. Things only got worse in the second half as the Clippers leaked 35 points in the third quarter to go behind by as many as 26 points which was too much to overcome with players like Norman Powell scoring just 7 points on 3 of 10 shooting and Reggie Jackson scoring just 9 points on 4 of 17 shooting. Meanwhile, the Oklahoma City Thunder started their season with a three-game skid, but they will be aiming for another victory after taking down the shorthanded Clippers on Tuesday. Shai Gilgis Alexander led the way with 33 points and 8 assists on 11 of 22 shooting. Treeman added 25 points while Aaron Wiggins chipped in with 11 points and 10 rebounds. As a team, the Thunder shot just 38% from the field and a miserly 4 of 30 from the three-point line, but their defense was on point as they forced the Clippers into to 18 turnovers while committing just five themselves. Lugensdort had a night to forget as he scored just four points on one of 11 shooting. Looking at the betting trends, the Clippers are 2-6 against the spread in their last eight road games and 7-2 against the spread in their last nine games against a team with a losing record. The Thunder are 7-1-1 to one to one against the spread in their last nine games following a win of more than 10 points and 4-1-2 to one to two against the spread in their last seven home games against a team with a road record above .600. Head-to-head, -head, the under is 9-4 in the last 13 meetings overall. The Clippers are 1-5 against the spread in the last 6 meetings overall, and the Clippers are 2-9 against the spread in the last 11 meetings in Oklahoma City. The Clippers will once again be without Marcus Morris and Kawhi Leonard, while Paul George is currently listed as questionable with an illness. The Thunder will also be shorthanded as Josh Giddy is again out with an ankle injury. The Thunder were able to spring the major upset on Tuesday, and they could well do it again as the Clippers are still so shorthanded. The Clippers are 30th in points per game and 25th in three-point percentage. The Los Angeles Clippers are the more talented TAM and should be favored, but they've also been sluggish through four games, and they're not a team I'm thrilled to lay big chalk with until things improve. Also, the Oklahoma City Thunder just beat the Clippers a couple of days ago despite being a five-and-a-half point underdog. The Clippers are only 2-9 to nine against the spread in the last 11 meetings in Oklahoma City and I think that trend continues here as the Thunder get the cover at the very least. So the Oklahoma City Thunder to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Under has won the last 6 games between these two, as well as 9 of their last 10 meetings. Given that both teams may be shorthanded again, with Giddy doubtful and Leonard out, and Morris and George also doubtful, expect another rock fight in this one. The Clippers have a good enough defense to win ugly, and that is is exactly what they will try to do against an offensively challenged Thunder team that currently has only one primary scorer. Given the matchup and these teams' history playing one another, this one ends up being a low-scoring affair. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.